Hello guys, uh, I'm showing you how to restore the motherboard BIOS uh, on chip uh, if something goes that wrong. Um, so basically you need some tools but they're easy to get and I have one here and uh, this works most for Asus motherboards but can work also the one tool can work with also with MSI boards so yeah I have the one mod Asus motherboard to test here so let's check it out basically I have programmer that can read everything from chip and put back anything there so you can get your chip working <laughs> so don't order the bias chips on that because at the newer motherboards it doesn't work anyway because those IDs what have in Asus motherboards doesn't work anyway so you need ori original uh, bias chips so what is in motherboard so basically you're putting that to the device and uh, reading everything of the, from the first test everything works and we're going to read it it's recommended if people buying the new motherboard and just uh, i recommend uh, get the uh, uh, chip program uh, and uh, read everything down in first day so basically you later not get any issues if something goes wrong or, or basically it's best to do because people flashing his motherboards and, and it it's can fail so so yeah we read everything from here saving it save the file Okay, file is saved. Let's minimize this. Now you need basically this tool. You can get it from Google, but uh, but someday it's can disappear also. But it should work. So taking the image, putting it here, and um, and basically with your your motherboard here yeah, different stuff i not want to show what i have there so i have just blank data so so basically you need to what you need to do is just copy to clip clipboard and uh, just make text file and everything is done so basically you closing it it's an uh, example the origin original pass file in, on ship so basically you're saving it and closing it so so basically we we'll do now again open it and we're using that uh, download the Asus cap file just dragging it here now basically you have to enter here that data again so basically just uh, just select it here <laughs> and put it put it here MAC address for network card goes here And serial number for motherboard serial number goes goes here. And then basically, no, actually, you have to say say the same file over, saving it, writing it over. That's what we downloaded.
And basically, he made the other file from it. You can keep that text file, but you got uh, you have default. Just keep it get somewhere, Google Drive or whatever. Keep it private or some USB stick or, or multiple places, so it's, it's, it's you don't get it lost. So it's very important because uh, Windows activation and everything works with with these uh, numbers here. He can recognize it. So. So basically, don't put it uh, publicly on net because someone <laughs> can just uh, make yourself <laughs> and just uh, keep it private and uh, and save it somewhere. <laughs> so now we have to take basically again that file, the opening. That's what we got. So basically, now we have to erase the chip. If your motherboard has uh, no those codes and stuff, uh, you can still get your your your. Uh, numbers from motherboard stickers so you can recover that way but this data should be uh, all that inside so, so basically we're writing everything here and if it's written it's done and uh, put uh, later on the chip uh, back to motherboard if it's ready so so basically don't put it wrong angle keep in mind uh, how the chip located in motherboard and, and there is a uh, hole bit and this mark here this thing you have to re remember what how it sit in motherboard uh, socket so so basically you have to correctly put it there <laughs> so we verifying it so we identical so basically you get your chip working again of course the users flashing uh, mf in intel management engine firmware and uh, and if people screwing it up you can restore with this tool <laughs> so basically you can recover it uh, to default again and uh, try some other versions of course people can play with that and pretty much it's done and uh, put chip back and mother port shall boot up <laughs> easily but uh, don't order the BIOS chip on eBay or, or some other places because with Asus motherboards it's definitely not work because the, the ID is wrong on those chip, chips. Have fun.